The Missouri Supreme Court is weighing a last-minute appeal on behalf of death row inmate Marcellus Williams. The state set Williams' execution for tomorrow night. News 11's Jeff Bernthal reports from Jefferson City, where attorneys for both sides made their case before the state's highest court. In addition to the efforts here at the Missouri Supreme Court in Jefferson City, attorneys for Williams are also pleading to the United States Supreme Court. Marcellus Williams has maintained his innocence. He was convicted of the 1998 murder of former St. Louis Post-Dispatch reporter Felicia Gale. Investigators said Gale was stabbed 43 times inside her University City home. Prosecutors argued Williams stole a laptop and other items. A lack of DNA evidence raised doubts. A board of inquiry established by then-Governor Eric Greitens was tasked with examining the case, but was dissolved under current Governor Mike Parson, prompting an appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court that Williams was denied due process. On Monday, attorneys for Williams argued before the Missouri Supreme Court that the prosecutor at trial struck a juror because they were black. He said the quiet part out loud. He admitted that there was actually a racial component here, and that is unconstitutional. Williams' attorneys say previous court rulings came before this latest revelation. When the trial prosecutor was subjected to cross-examination, he admitted unequivocally that he struck a juror in part because he was a young black man with glasses. Let me correct some things. Uh, the prosecutor was not cross-examined. He was their witness. He was examined on this point on direct. An attorney for the state argued there's not enough evidence to delay the execution and that the prosecutor's words were taken out of context. What did he say when asked directly, did you strike someone partially, was part of your reason for striking someone because he was black? He said, no, absolutely not. St. Louis County Prosecutor Wesley Bell, who was not the prosecutor at the time Williams was convicted, has raised questions not only about the conviction, but also about Williams' guilt. Reporting from Jefferson City, Jeff Bernthal, St. Louis 11 News.